They call me Looch. What's going on, YouTube? Dorito. And the Lucha Cabra here. And we're back. With a lot of go-fast parts from Buggy Parts Northwest. Yes, this will be the Trailmaster XRS 150 Part 3. <laughs> Trey! Part 3! And uh, what we're going to do today is... As you can see. Break it down, Looch, what we're going to do. Oh, baby. We got some go-fast parts to throw in here. As you saw on the last videos, my heterosexual life partner here got way too over zealous, 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 over zealous in, in in what he was attempting to do. So we're gonna fix it today by throwing a bunch of go fast parts at it, including a completely rejetted carburetor, a new high output coil and ignition wire. Yes. Iridium plug. Yep, we got an iridium plug. And. and Oh, the Koopty Grass! <laughs> the Koopty Grass! The Koopty Grass! <laughs> we got us a, a CDI, people. Yes. Oh. People, we're going to install this stuff and full send this piece on video. Yep. So all these parts, you know, the, the jet the jet kit as well, the, the coil and the spark plug wire. The it's pretty, too. It's a nice color, too. The iridium plug. The adjustable CDI, those all came from Buggy Parts Northwest. Buggy Parts Northwest. I'm going to go ahead and put a link down there, and you guys can check them out. All these parts, so far, I mean, they came, recycle. They, they, <laughs> they came fast. The parts did come fast. It was like next day air in three days. Yeah. <laughs> so they did come quick. We're going to slap them on. We don't know how good they are right now. But we're going to test them. We're going to put them on and check them out and let it you guys know. It can't be any worse than the crap you've seen in the previous video. Yep. So big shout out to Buggy Parts Northwest. Thank you, Buggy Parts Northwest. You guys rock. Yep. So let's get on with it. Shall we? People, what we're going to do first is rip this piece apart. And we're going to start by taking a little uh, electronics box uh, cover off over here. So we can get to all the plugs and uh, necessary stuff like the ignition. So, I told you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you about those? Glue this down. That's why he's got a strip bolt. Let it go, Chip. All right, now yeah, we're back. Uh, now that we got, oh, look at all that neat stuff in there, people. Look at all that. That's the uh, all the electronics. Wow, that's really neat. Really neat. All right. So, where do we start? Let's take the air cleaner off. Cleaner. Here, I'll just put it in the front. <laughs> oh, you got too much bolt for everything you got here. That's the bolt it came with. All right. That was the washer. Now we can go back over here and take the rest of this off here. And then you got your air cleaner assembly. Thank you. All right. I'm just getting my wires crossed, my eyes crossed, my fingers crossed. All right. There's the other electronic part there. Here's a new ascot. Ah! Oh, wait, that, no. Well, that's way too small for my neck. Yes. Too late. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bucket, for saving my life one more time. So, let's get this over here. All right. So, Here's our ignition, people. This right here, as you can see, is our coil and our ignition. So, let's see here. I gotta take this off. Right here. Oh, no, that's right here. Now, this is a magic video. We got this stubborn bolt out. We can continue on. This held our uh, ignition coil in. And once you get that bolt out, you can just weasel that on through. Like that. Put it over to the side for now. We'll come back to that later. Right here is your CDI. And it's just held on by this little strap. So, if you take the strap off, that gets your CDI right there. And then you just unplug it, people.
Like so. That's your old one. See? No adjustment. No adjustment. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, my. Now, look at the difference between <laughs> this, people. Look at the difference between <laughs> this. <laughs> this is some serious stuff right here. Yeah, you got to make it fit. Good luck for me, huh? Uh -huh. You know, this is what uh, Chip always does to me. Here's a five-pound bag. We need 10 pounds of crap inside of it. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> Don't think you're going to be able to use that rubber part anymore. Watch me. When I put it here. Oh, yeah, this will be just fine. We'll just Push it in manipulate there. this around the, the side like this. You know, I haven't put a little rubber thing on since my college days. <laughs> Back to the college days. Back to the college days, people. You'll never know how much you've missed college. And you try and put one of these little rubber doohickeys over your jiggy jiggy. <laughs> Well, you can just like weasel it on down the shaft, the side, and oh, who says you can't use it? Let's slide it in there. See how the height is on it. Slide now. it in, and that'll go well uh, somewhere. We might go a little farther up this way <laughs> and move the sheath across. Don't the want to go too far. You want to have that adjustment. I'm watching. It's right here. See. People, this is where this is where the magic happens. I feel like I'm on cribs. People, this is where the magic happens. Which we won't be putting the box on initially because we're he's gonna have to test in tune. That's right, because that's what we do here. At Torino the Discovery. <laughs> so we test it down. And if you can't make your wiring harness fit, yank it. Oh, look at that, people. Look at that. We have insertion. We have insertion. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yes! Now it we feels gotta, so good. Now that we've got that in, we're going to go to the other side. Follow me, won't you? Clap. All right, we're back. Check it out, people. We're over here on the side now. So we'll just get this here pesky old ignition wire right out of our way so we don't have to mess with it. See, and look at that, people. And people, check it out. Look at the size difference in those coils. Those coils? Yeah. Okay. Are. Look at the size difference in those coils. Can you see it? This one's got a lot more windings in it, so it's going to produce a, a, a hotter spark, right? Ah, I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, we're going to put that on a little bit later. Right now, we're going to get our carbon noodle off. And we have to start with stuff like clamps and hoses and things like that. So we'll take the intake loose. Just like we've done before, and we'll get Luch. right back to you guys. You've seen this crap before, right? Clap it out, Luch. Whoa, people, through the magic of video, we've got the carburetor, new carburetor, back in, and we're going to reconnect everything and get right back to you. Huh? All right, Bill. As you can see, we've got our carburetor all bolted up and uh, uh, plumbed and ready to go. Now we're on to our iridium plug. Look at that, Bill. Isn't it beautiful? That's what iridium looks like. Can you see it? Uh -oh. I'll hold that so you don't, right. you don't drop We're going to get our old plug out. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very pretty plug. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. That's a pure iridium. <laughs> so, there we go. We got our Look at that. Is loose. Look at how small that tip is. What? <laughs> We're the family show. All right. Wow. Let's show them the difference, shall we? You've been running a little rich, haven't you? <laughs> wow. We're going to run a little richer now. Little Richard. Yeah, remember him? <laughs> Holy macaroni. Well, yeah. you can see the size of the difference in the tip. And there, how big this one is and how small. Look at that. Bring it up to the camera more here. I don't know what you're looking right at. Right there. Wow. You see that? I don't see it. Hey, it's like a wire tip on there. And this is like a big old... Oh, the, uh, the electrode. The electrode, yes. There, there we go. go. Not the ground strap, but the electrode. Yes. That produces a much hotter spark. Because it's pure iridium. Pure iridium. Dum, dum, it's pure dum, iridium. Dum, dum, pure iridium. Oh, I'm sorry. What the heck is that? <laughs> it's my shoe. Well, Hi. We don't need your help. Here at Dorito Lich Cabre, I just want to say hello. Hello to Dorito's shoe. All right, people. Let's tighten up our plug and make sure, people, it's the proper luchin meters. This one takes about 49 luchin meters to get tight. So you get your little torque wrench and click them tight. And did you hear it? There we go. Yep. That sucker's ready to go. And if you would like to see less of Dorito and more <laughs> of his shoe, shoe comment, comment below. I know I would. 
Boy, I'll tell you. Okay, well, now it's time. It's time for where the magic happens. This here will, will shock your aunt tiny socks off. The Super McCoil. The Super McCoil will light the spark of a plug and the air fuel my ratio until it goes big in the back. We'll put a link, list of the parts in the description and stuff and also the link below to Buggy Parts Northwest. BuggyPartsNorthwest.com. These guys are great, people. And yes. the customer service is awesome. Yeah, their service so far is great. Um, We'll be seeing how their parts do. How how they do do. He said do do. <laughs> and uh, give you guys an overall opinion when we're done here. Don't step on the spark plug. Make sure everything is seated. There we go. Then we can run your coil of a pack. Back them around the jiggy jig. Underneath the frame of the frame here. I think we need to switch to the other side. You want to clap this out? Wait. It goes this way. We can't see which way. It's all right. <coughs> I can. <coughs> But we want to show the viewers. All right. Once you've got it rounded correctly, clap your hands. All right. Hey, welcome back to the other side of the buggy. Now then, we've rounded our coil in its proper red testicle. And now we're going to <laughs> bolt it back. What? The bolt, the bringing it out was fun. Oh, my goodness. Putting it back together should be amazing. Yep. And, and Bucket. Bucket has really been a lot of help in this episode. Say hello, like Bucket. Bucket. Yeah, let's... Give Bucket a little bow out there. Hi, right, Bucket. Thank you, Bucket. You guys rock! You yeah. put on a little weight there, Bucket. I think you're looking a little hefty. Yeah, we're getting wrenched up. Wrenched up. Look at Bucket getting wrenched up. Now, you gotta... Well, so through the magic of video, we're gonna clap this one out, too. Go ahead, Looch. Trust <laughs> me, I'm a doctor. Oh, my God. So, you basically don't know where this goes then. It goes right there. It's for diagnostics. For diagnostics. So you plug it into the rigmarole? You plug something in there. <laughs> what do you do with it? You diagnose. <laughs> what do you diagnose? The ixt. Oh. oh, my God. So you don't know where this goes? It goes right there. Okay. Where did you find it? Oh, my God. I'm telling you, you got to just leave crap alone. Okie dokie. All right. Now, people, we've got our coil of the bob. Pulled it back down. Oh, you know, that went on a whole lot easier than it came off. Okay, now people, the most important part is to connect the electrical connector mums. Now, uh, the black, it's a color coded people. It's got a little green tab where your green wire goes, and then you just plug that bad boy in right there. And a little black tab right there where the black wire goes, and you just plug that bad boy in right there. And people, you will have shocking results if you do this to yours. Guaranteed. Or we'll discuss money. So is everything ready to fire right now? No. Oh. I've still got this here. Oh, the main harness. The main harness. <laughs> it needs to come back in because we had to take this off. So. Oh. Yeah, why don't you, that's what I was going to say. You can bring that up a little bit. You got all kinds of. And then that plugs right back in. Oh, look at that. Right back in there. So now we're ready to test in tune. Oh, baby. We're ready to rock and roll with this beast. All right. So what we're going to do is. Uh, Make sure you secure your wiring, people. We're going we're gonna to see if we can fire it up, and we'll get right back to you guys, all right? Fumes, baby, fumes. Rock on. Okay, people. So after we got it all back together, we couldn't seem to get any spark out of this. So we put the uh, old CDI in, and it did fire up. So we're going to reach out to uh, Buggy Parts uh, Northwest and uh, get with them and see uh, just what's going on here. And we'll get back to you on their CDI. But the coil... And the iridium plug has already made a big difference in the way it runs. Not to mention the good gas. So, people, we're going to get this thing on the road and just see what it does with this portion of it. And then get back to you with the second part of the CDI installation. So, let's get this out on the road and see just how it feels now. Shall we? Rock on.
So we took it for a drive. It ran pretty good. Um, but, but it's a stock CDI, and we think we can get more out of it. So this CDI, like Luke said earlier, does not work. That's not bueno. We're going to reach out to Bundy Parts Northwest, and we're going to get this CDI, repl CDI replaced so we can get it in there and try revving it, getting the RPMs higher. 10,000 RPM. Yeah. Now, if we... If that works and we get the RPMs higher and everything works up. great, great. If not, we're going to use this as well. We might need to swap the jets and go down a little bit now. We're, we're at a 140 and a 40 jet. That's for sea level. Don't tell them our secrets. Yeah. But we might need to go down to like a 138 and a 38 jet. So he says. So I, that's my guess. We have a master tuner here. Yeah. We're figuring this out, people. <laughs> so anyways, I want to thank Buggy Parts Northwest for these parts. We'll get, a home, we'll get this replaced and we'll check this out. Um, so far, everything else is great. The coil, the plug, everything's awesome. We just need a CDI. We just need a working CDI. And they'll handle it. We're not worried about not that. Not at all. So, anyways, we'll get back to you on part four. <laughs> I don't know how you say four. <laughs> oh, quattro. Oh, quattro. <laughs> part quattro. Quattro. Of the Trailmaster Saga. I this like has it. been Dorito. And the Lucha Cabre. And I want to thank you guys for watching. You rock. Peace. Peace. Can I at least hit you?